something wrong there, Mr. Love. Is it the wall or is it the clock? Well, the clock's perpendicular, so it's got to be the wall. You're sure that's absolutely straight? Oh, yes. Well, it looks very rum to me. But, of course, this is a pretty rum place, isn't it? The Crooked House of Himley. That's correct. Uh, that's not its real name, is it? No, the Glen Arms. But everybody calls it the Crooked House. And it's a place that's full of tricks, isn't it? All sorts of tricks. Yours is a rather unusual clientele, isn't it, Mr. Love? They come from all over the place. Where, for instance? China, Russia, Japan, Canada, America, all over the world. Well, why do they come to this place? To see the bottles run up the table. Yeah, because this is a place where bottles and balls roll uphill, where people come in drunk and go out sober, sober. isn't it? Yes, correct, yes. Mrs. Lum, what did it feel like when you came here? Oh, well, we used to get violent headaches. But of course, we've got used to the building now. How long's the place been like this? Well, they tell us it's a 17th century building, but as when it was built, we don't know. What caused it to go like this? Subsidence, the only mine, the one side. So it all started in a straight line, and uh, over That's the years, correct. because of mining subsidence? That's correct. It all went in one go, and there wasn't a crack to be seen. And how does the place hang together? Because I'm told there's not a crack in the building. Well, they condemned it in 1950, and Banks has modified it inside and still erected it all the way around. And as you notice, at the end of the building, they put in three new buttocks, and that is holding it up, and it's inspected every seven years. And you think that'll keep it for another 100? I'm hoping it'll keep it while I'm here anyway. <laughs> it's not very good for drinking, really, is it? Well, place? you come in drunk and you go out sober. Yeah, but they don't drink much, do they? Oh, well, some don't, some do. Some do do who, who, who does do the drinking? Well, most of our regulars. <laughs> hey? Which are very few, but yeah. uh, when they're here, they're good customers. How about the strangers who come in? Well, we get quite a few strangers who drink quite a lot. And as I've said, they come in drunk and they go out sober. Yeah. And then, of course, when he goes out, what does he see? A, a goose with a crooked wing. Have you seen the ball in the bottle? Yeah. That's something to look at. Everyone one asks for the ball before they ask for the drink. Well, that can't be good for business, can it? No, that's why I say it's time they ask for the drinks first. Yeah. Well, uh, that's this place, isn't it? You can believe anything after a while, can't you? Well, that's what people say, but you've got to see to believe. Yeah, and seeing's believing, but, but after a while you, you don't believe any of it. No, it's true. It's quite people don't. Yeah. We tell think people things are straight and they still don't believe us. We were looking at your husband, measuring up for the decorating, you know, who, who does it in the end? Does he do it? Well, we're going to do it ourselves this time, but uh, how we shall get on with it, I don't know. Who, who gets the round the awkward who, corners? <laughs> the first one who came here and did it, he said you couldn't hang the damn stuff on straight. He had to put it, pull it all off and put it on crooked. So you can't get a decorator anymore, you have to do it yourself. Well, we're going to try and do it ourselves anyway. What we're some kind of a mess we shall make it, but I don't know. Best of luck to you. <laughs>